What's up guys, it's Crash and happy scoreboard eve to all of the Battlefield 2042 players out there. Three and a half months in and it's time for a scoreboard. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, originally, I didn't think this was very noteworthy. We kind of knew this was coming, but one of the community managers gave us some insight as to what's coming in the next update after this one. And I thought that was worth making a video. So let's just recap this real quick. And I will also announce that tonight, 7.30 Central, live on this channel will be episode eight of the scope and there's a lot of stuff we're going to talk about from what's going on in the first person shooter world of video games i would love to see you guys there so anyway here is the scoreboard um added deaths to it split the players up uh looks pretty good to me it looks like a scoreboard we probably should have had at the beginning let me know your guys' thoughts uh down below then the other thing we're getting the steadfast bundle we knew that and then also they did this fix um, get that where you can see it. They did this fix where they adjusted aim assist to be in effect if your sticks are at 100% of their range. So it wasn't before. Hopefully this is the aim assist. I'm not too familiar with console and how aim assist feels. I've heard a lot of people talk about how it feels kind of off and weird. So hopefully uh, this fixes that. It makes aim assist feel a little bit better to you guys. Everything else is uh, really minor. Um, we also got information from the community manager and I think this is the important stuff. So it looks like the next update after this one is set for early April, so we could say it's probably on the books for about a month from now, and it includes VoIP and end of round scoreboard functionality. So the scoreboard that we're getting is not gonna be available to see at the end of round yet for some reason, and then hopefully we're getting VoIP in the next update. Um, then he goes on to elaborate just a little bit more. He says the next update also targets balance changes for weaponry on vehicles, including the MC5 bolt, alongside an overhaul of attachment behavior for infantry weapons across the board. We'll talk more about other changes you can expect closer to its release. So there are some really big things in there. VoIP is another thing that should have 100% been in at launch. I think you would have held on to a lot of players. It would have made Hazard Zone playable with randoms. Um, it's frustrating to have a cross-platform game without that. It's long overdue in my opinion. A lot of these updates sound really good. And then an overhaul of attachment behavior for infantry weapons across the board. That is another massive, massive thing that needs fixed. That should have been fixed at launch. A lot of the attachments don't do anything. They do the same thing. And as far as I know, the plus system is still bugged where even if you just change a site or something, your recoil drops by about 30% and it doesn't matter what uh, piece of uh like what attachment you use it just changes it so i think that is really really important um hopefully it comes out sooner than later let me know in the comments down below if you guys think this is enough um unfortunately to me in my opinion we're still we're still in the area of fixing things that should have been done before launch we haven't moved on to anything new um we're adding things like attachments should have worked at launch VoIP should have worked at launch. There should have been a scoreboard that you could look in game and in around at launch. We're still we're still fixing things that should have already been there, in my opinion, at three and a half months into it. And it's going to extend to four and a half months into it. And then, yeah, we're not even even close to talking about season one yet, which I just think is way too late for a triple A game at this price point. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully see you tonight at 730. And thanks for watching.